that one more time. Yep, that looks correct. That is correct. And we still have sound. Let me do a quick check. Check, 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 check. Okay, well, the sound is delayed about a second. No getting around that, unfortunately. Um, that part of FMPEG doesn't work so well, the audio delay in one direction. So, I'm almost set up and ready. Today, I'm not doing, oh, today is the first day in a long time that I've streamed uh, over twitch slash justin.tv and let me just go ahead and set the info it I, I hope it kicks me back off and to, to the regular um, twitch TV reason for that is uh, just twitch.tv has some restrictions where it's only for games yeah, so hold on just a second. Because now I have to do these streaming things. Um, I guess I do it from my dashboard. Okay, so this is iOS live coding live coding session 15. So we'll say real, yeah, so gotta get those keywords, alright, gotta get those keywords, we're good, I wonder if that did it, I don't, I didn't hit any save button, so let me check, yeah, that said it, because now it says iPhone, whatever, but there's a big black screen. Oh, there we are. I don't know what that was about. Okay. So you don't need to see my DNS, uh, my, yeah, I should explain. I haven't been streaming for a little while because the last few days I was moving my servers from HostGator to EC2, and that actually takes quite a bit of work, moving uh, not just WordPress blogs and databases and mailboxes, I've almost got set up. The mail stuff is taking a little bit longer, and I actually have to wait for the DNS to update. The entries take a few hours, and yeah, I figure that's a good time to program a little bit. So to bring you up to speed, I thought I would just work today on something fun. Mm. Let me show you what the app looks like right now. Uh, I have to go to Xcode. And I'll hit run. So, I think we're all set up to go. Yeah, what, what I think I want to work on today is... Um, we have the basic visual part working. When we speak into the mic, some bubbly thing pops out. I have to tune that, the onset and offset times a little better, but it, it basically works when I want, if I try hard enough. Um, but I, I want to make the visuals respond um, to my voice, I guess. I want them to, like, here. Ooh, hey, okay, that's the first thing we can work on because I can't do much until the mic detects well. But it's not really detecting correctly. Like when I. Okay, that. Okay, that. Hey, hey. 
Yeah. I mean, it was working earlier. Like when I, like when I, but it's not. That's the first thing we can fix. The mic detection is, yeah, not so great right now. So pardon me while I just quickly go ahead and look at the input manager class that we were working on. So that's just, um, yeah, that's here. Yeah, and this is going to be hard uh, to jump back into, but basically we have a dynamic noise gate. And this dynamic noise gate is a little bit different. Um, we have a noise floor of 20, and I think that's what's killing us right now. And if I can't really remember where the noise floor is computed, but if I search for noise floor, I think I'll get it. There you go, M noise floor. M noise floor DB. So there's M noise floor DB, and it's probably way too high. I don't know exactly what we're doing here. I'm so this is for falling, this is for the offset when we want to go back to nothing. Yeah, and that's okay. We don't have the problem with offset. The problem is with onset. It's too... It demands too much of a jump. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is look for where M noise floor DB is set and reduce that. Ah, so just a hard coded to here. So what we might do at the top is, because the top's a good place to do that, we'll define a few things. So we'll just have a pound define for km, uh, k noise floor, what is, is it a noise, yeah, difference, diff db. That'll be, a l people will be able to understand that. That's why it's not negative. And pound define k initial, what was that called? Min rec db. K initial min rec db. K initial uh, K noise floor diff dv. Yeah. K initial min rec dv. That's what it was, right? And it'll be negative 40 decibels. I'll write the comment because these are easy to forget what they mean. The initial uh, amount of decibels, initial decibel dv value that will trigger an onset, the mic onset. And here, this will be the initial, uh, the noise floor. This changes. This value changes dynamically. Okay, so I think 20 is too much. I'm going to set it to 10 and see if that, what's this? And see if that fixes anything. So let's try run again. Yeah, I gotta go to Xcode. Gotta go to run. If you're watching this for the first time, I'm doing something weird where I do my edits in X, uh, my Ubuntu box, and on, on the Mac I just compile. I don't like the new Xcode 4 so much. I'm just not used to it.
maybe it's wonderful. So now I shouldn't have to struggle so much to get a mic input, but we'll see. It could be... Hello. Yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah, so we're doing pretty good. Um, looks like we have to play with between 20, 10 and 20. This might be a little too... too good. But you notice objects only get created while I'm speaking, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna restart because it's getting there's too much stuff on the screen. One thing I do want to test is that when I sing, it makes one long sound. That's important. Hey. So that seemed to work. That's pretty good. So okay, this is what we want to work on this time. When the objects pop out of the the mic input thing, that's on the bottom of the screen, I want them to take on a shape that corresponds to the volume. If that doesn't make sense, I yeah, I can explain a little bit better. I want them to maybe, so right now when you speak for a long time or you sing, a long snake-like thing comes out. I want it to get more snaky and have the curves of the snake correspond to what, some, what I'm doing with my voice. And for now we can just do that based on amplitude because that's the simplest way. So how do we do that? Well we have an object called... Uh, this is actually going to be in the entity, which is the visual component and the thing that ha maps it to the screen, not the sound. But the visual component that contains that is called voice entity. And it doesn't have so much. This is the entire definition. I guess there's a bit, but it's only 160 lines. Most of it's draw code. Um, yeah, but you see this function. This gets called um, while the thing is growing, the add buffers call. And uh, when it finishes, I think there's a stop. Mm, mm, actually, I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like there is no stop because the mic entity the mic entity is what grows the voice entity the mic entity is just that shooter that you control the um, you control where it shoots out of yeah So, yeah, let me just look at what we got here for a second. This is also mostly draw code. There's collide code because this is, no, this is just to animate things. When something collides with it, it turns like green. Oh, but these start and end inputs are important. So when we start speaking, when it's onset detected in the voice mic input, this stuff gets called. And this effectively creates the object. And then there's this end input stuff. 